Hey, this is Nellie's Farm. It is June 9th, 2024. Well, my garden is finally starting to move around a little bit. It's it's starting to grow. Um, it's been very slow going, you guys. Very slow going um, this year. And my son just uh, started weed eating and stuff. And I haven't given the garden to her yet because, well, it was just a mess. So we're finally seeing some of our plants start to emerge and flower and uh, i've still not even done growing things but here in alabama we have a really long growing season this is a spaghetti uh squash plant right here and as you can see my son is a blacksmith rick and he has put a lot of things up that we can use as trellises um he has a lot of metals he saves in the barn where his forges we're putting them to good use now i'm very disappointed because I don't have many zinnias. It's uh, usually I have just so tons and tons of zinnias, and I'm having to plant things, you know, three times before anything comes up. No green beans yet. Had to buy some. So these are my acorn squash plants, and only a few came up. I usually put those right in the ground because they're, you know, I direct sow. I don't put those in like a container first. These are usually so easy to grow, right? They usually come right up. And you can put them in like almost any kind of ground. And squash is one of those that are very easy to grow, usually. But this year, uh-uh. So, uh, this, um, I've heard this from other people too, by the way. So, you've probably heard about these, right? Now, you can use copper wire to make these. You use a pole and wrap wire around them. And it's supposed to put energy, electrons, from the earth from the air that is into the earth to help your plants grow faster now everybody swears by this and i guess you can use any kind of wire so my son has made some of these so i'm going to let you know how it works out guys like i said the idea is to pull electrons from the sky and uh Put it into the earth for your plants. So I will let you know. You can see how little it is right now. It's tiny. I will let you know how it turns out. Because he's made several of these. And I've got them in several places. So um, you can look that up. If you've never heard anything about it. It's supposed to really accelerate your garden. I wanted to share that with you. And I'll share um, more of my garden with you. When I'm done cleaning it up more. And uh, weeding and things. So you can see more of it. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Kathy, for the donation. I appreciate it so much. Oh my gosh, so, so much. Thank you. And I am putting my PayPal link in the comments. Uh, we, we are in dire straits still. Our Jeep still broke down. I got laid off my job, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a rough one. But I'm making the most of this time um, that I can by getting a nice garden in. Last year, I was working up to 60 hours a week, and I couldn't do a whole lot. We had a nice garden, but this year I added a lot more things since I have the time. Herbs and all kinds of things. More potatoes, onions. So, I will let you know how this comes along, and I'll be showing you on my garden tour soon. Thank you for watching. Nellie's Farm signing off. Mindy says hello.